When I used to, I used to teach on women's studies courses, uh, and it was we we were able to have a residential program, um, and the, the women on the program would come from all kinds of different backgrounds, um, mature students predominantly, some working, some you know some who were at home, um, some who'd been some who who were graduates, some who weren't. It was, it was a fantastically diverse group, and we would go away and we'd look at um, the academic curriculum from lots of different perspectives. And it, it, you know, it, that time to spend together, just thinking about um, those big questions um, and drawing on the experience of all those different people in the group was tremendously energising and, and vital. And uh, that, that sort of sense of critical dialogue, that people were really thinking and engaging, and that people's um, frames, you know, frames of reference, their intellectual frames of reference, were actually being expanded as you. As you as you actually sat there, you could almost see it happening to all of us. I mean, I think that's what I like about adult learning is that you might be officially the teacher, but you're learning at the same time, and so it's always a kind of exciting, vibrant experience. So it would be those sorts of experiences that I've had predominantly with um, kind of adult learners, adult returners, and, and particularly where, where you're looking at something that challenges um, the way we normally look at the world. Those tend to be the most when you come away thinking, that, that's, that's been a bit life changing, that's been good. Yeah. I'm going to go for, for somebody that I worked with quite more, more a long time ago, uh, a woman called Nancy Jowett, now she's called Nancy Newsom. Um, and she worked for uh, on courses for um, adults returning to learn, or for women returners, and so on. And she was, I mean, the students just adored her. She was challenging, she was vibrant, uh, she gave them an enormous amount of support. Um, but she never, um, she never sort of pandered to people intellectually. She expected people to learn. She expected them to rise to challenges. Uh, and so people did, because her expectations were high. The things she did were stimulating. They were different. Whether I've ever been, whether I'll be able to do it to that extent, I don't, I don't know. But I, I, would, I would always try to set high expectations for students. Um, and not to assume that they can't do things. I mean, clearly there's, there's a, you know, in, in terms of educational theory, there's a, a, a zone of development that you can't expect people to do things that are completely unrealistic, but you've got to be constantly trying to, to push people and develop them. And you've also got to use really solid adult education principles, which are that you start where people are. You get to know, if you, even if you've got large groups of people, you might not be able to know them all personally, but you try to get a sense of where they're coming from, what they're interested in, what you can build on together uh, rather than you know coming at it from your perspective and you're imposing your knowledge on them all the time it's about where they are and where they need to get to and, and doing that in a way that um, you know puts problem posing into the picture that, that that sets people problems and challenges and puts ideas in there that might just disturb the ripples of the, the comfortable way we think about the world. So I, I think some of that was about you know, having worked with Nancy, but uh, to be honest, lots of other people who were really uh, engaging and stimulating teachers. I met some fantastic teachers, both in my previous jobs and here, and keep meeting new people who excite me all the time in my work.